Um, so thank you again for being here. Thanks for sticking with us. Uh, I know I am the last thing between you and well-deserved uh, drinks. We actually have a reception here and one outside, which we're going to talk in a couple of minutes. It's going to be brief, but uh, I just want to say a couple of words to close the conference. It's been a very energizing event for us, uh, for the team. I hope it has been for you folks. Um, and actually then move to the favorite part of the uh, conference for me, oh, which is not yet this one. No. <clears throat> um, just a second, folks. Um, <laughs> there's a little bit of an issue here. <clears throat> That's it. OK. <laughs> you haven't seen anything. Um, so. Um, <laughs> clearly was perfectly rehearsed. Um, so I just wanted to uh, uh, kind of remind us that uh, this was just eight years ago. Um, I think we've made a huge inroads in the industry. I hope you're living, you know, energized today. We've heard it from financial institutions, regulators, uh, individual developers. Um, I hope, again, this is something that uh, is going to leave you uh, with a good feeling about where, where this community is going. Um, and in case you want to have numbers, again, final, final shameless plug, you, you've heard us uh, using these numbers uh, today, pretty much all day. Uh, and uh, um, we actually have a report out there that we can use as a base, and we plan to run this on an yearly basis. We will appreciate your collaboration in the next years. Uh, but take a look at that. It's Creative Commons. Feel free to quote it, retweet it, uh, do, do whatever you want. But most importantly, use the data in there to drive your decisions. There's so much uh, to be done yet. There's still a long way to go. That said, uh, I, I just in the last month, uh, uh, and, and I've shared this with our members yesterday, the members meeting, but just in the last month, uh, we've had, uh, you know, the world and new constituents realize, you know, what really we have been saying for many years, uh, which is that open source can really revolutionize financial services. Um, Andres Senorovic put out that article uh, on the left about a month ago. Um, we see a huge potential in bringing in the fintechs through open source uh, uh, in a, really creating a new financial services stack that is modular, that is developer dri driven. Uh, I mean, the, that article was so inspiring. Uh, we think fintechs are another huge constituent uh, uh, of, of our community. Um, all the way on the other side of the Pacific Ocean, um, the China regulators, Chinese regulators are recommending banks to not only consume open source, but to contribute. Uh, they're saying, get uh, uh, free and open source software happy. Um, this is, again, pretty unprecedented. And it's again, it shows how uh, uh, this can be a truly global community. Uh, and last but not least, I mentioned it a couple of times today, uh, the Open Source Security Foundation uh, from the Linux Foundation has been joined both at Platinum, sorry, Premier, and in, uh, uh, a general level uh, by several financial institutions. Actually, Brian Bellendorf, uh, uh, the executive director, was here today. Um, again, one more, once more reminding us of how important uh, uh, open source and open source security is becoming in, in this landscape. And so just want to leave you with uh, a couple of the themes to look forward uh, uh, for the rest of the year, for next year. Uh, also with the purpose of getting your feedback. Uh, we are an open community. Whether you are a member or you're an individual contributor, we take your feedback very seriously. And so you probably have seen these teams developing, and I hope you've seen these teams developing throughout the day. Uh, but again, we're still working through our planning and strategy for next year. So please let us know if there's anything else we, we should be working on. And most importantly, you can contribute to. Um, you know, we'll continue enabling uh, the financial institutions to become more uh, open source ready, more cloud ready, uh, uh, more inner source ready, even from a, you know, just cultural standpoint. Sharing internally is a really great stepping stone, but it makes sense. 
to, to open source. Um, we see, again, developers playing a much more central role in this industry, very much like we've seen in many other industries. So we'll continue through our SIGs, like on inner source, open source, DevOps mutualization, cloud service, uh, sorry, compliant financial infrastructure to uh, continue enabling that. Um, you've heard about Legend. I think you guys did today. Uh, <laughs> you've heard about FDC3. Uh, clearly, interoperability and workflows across the industry have organically become one of the areas where we've seen the most traction and the most uh, even potential for cross-industry uh, uh, participation or partnership with consortia. So APIs and data standards will continue to be really the connective tissue that allows us to bring all the projects together. I think one of the magic aspects of in-person conferences is, is creating this point-to-point -point connections that, as I was saying this morning, are really hard to make uh, in an online setting. And we're seeing our projects more and more integrating with each other. Um, I hope you sort of grasp that, grasp that today, not only because it's added value, but also because it's um, you know, a sign of maturity of our community. This is not you know, 50 independent projects. Uh, there is an actual uh, you know, path for these projects to combine and deliver value to the industry. And then finally, we talked about that this morning. We will continue to try and up-level the value that we can deliver through, through open source and through open source collaboration, whether it's you know, in the uh, reg and compliance organization and with the regulators, I found. Um, you know, and I think your feedback has been overwhelming this morning that having uh, Sultan, the head of the FDIC, has been a potential game changer. We actually think. Uh, that way, and we will continue investing in that. It's hopefully going to be a major announcement in, in Q1 next year. Uh, and of course, as I mentioned, fintechs are becoming uh, a huge part uh, um, of, of what, you know, the next sort of uh, uh, layer of the community that we want to bring uh, into our world. Uh, and whether that means expanding into other areas uh, beyond investment banking, you know, that is something that we will explore and ultimately it's going to be influenced uh, from you folks. Uh, if you have interesting projects that you think make sense uh, to open source or to collaborate in the open, we'd love uh, to hear from you. That said, if you don't like any of those, uh, just remember that 11 projects, almost one project a month was contributed this year um, and that anyone can contribute to the foundation. So. Uh, again, if you don't like what I just said, <laughs> this is an open source community. You have the opportunity to influence it, uh, you know, in the right direction. Um, and so, before we move uh, uh, actually to the awards, I'm going to have to go back a little bit back and forth with this keynote. So I'm looking at the the, the run here. Um, um, <laughs> how do you get involved? Um, there's so many ways. Um, you can evaluate, uh, download the projects, they're all Apache 2 uh, uh, licensed or Creative Commons licensed. Uh, you can consume, uh, you can participate. Again, participation is open to anyone. Um, you can contribute, uh, we'd love to contribute. We can help, uh, um, you know, working with your organization to make sure that you have contributor license agreements in place. Uh, and finally, um, you know, We'd love you to lead initiatives. Uh, that's how we think uh, we uh, can grow uh, by scaling the organization, and you can uh, actually, you know, get visibility in, in this industry. Um, before we move to uh, the community awards, I'm just looking at the <coughs> slides here. There might be an issue. Um, so I have to go back. Here. Um, unfortunately, I think we're having some technical issues. I'm not seeing the awards slides. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually see only one, which is good. We can get started, but we have actually five awards um, to give out, uh, which I might have messed up with the presentation. So. Um, 
Please advise. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We can go actually without the slides. Um, we can actually take pictures later. We actually do have the awards. Uh, this is like my favorite part of the conference. So I'm pretty uh, uh, bummed that I messed it up um, by making last minute edits to the slide, as I always like to do. Um, so let me, let me start uh, uh, by saying again, Yesterday we awarded our member companies, uh, today we are awarding individuals. Communities are made of individuals and uh, we really are thankful for all you do here. Um, and so I want to take this occasion to not only uh, introduce you to some of the wonderful contributors which will be awarded today, but also to some of uh, our uh, uh, team members that, uh, as you uh, uh, are new, you might not have met before. And so I want to uh, uh, bring up uh, our first uh, uh, member, team member, Maurizio Pilito, uh, to deliver the Newcomer Award. And uh, I'm going to let you guess where Maurizio is from. Hello, everyone. <laughs> where am I from? New York City. <laughs> So, Newcomer Award. Um, this award goes to a person I work with uh, nearly every week for the last year. Um, and although this is uh, an uh, individual award, this could not have been possible without um, uh, the support of one of the most talented teams I had the pleasure to work with. Um, so, um, for the contributions, to uh, Finos through the legend, um, through the legend project, I am giving the uh, newcomer award to Ephraim Stanley from Goldman Sachs. <laughs> Pierre is gonna. Well, the new camera award is uh, given to the most, to the newest contributor. To, sorry, to the contributor that had the most contribution this year uh, as a new camera in the foundation, as a new contributor. So again, thank you, Ephraim. Um, I won't have the slide for now, but I will want to. Uh, by the way, Maurizio runs our infrastructure and DevOps team. So uh, if you have any requests on release management, uh, build, uh, how to help your developer experience, Mao is your guy. Um, next up, I would like to bring up, uh, well, uh, fortunately we don't have a slide for that, but uh, uh, we'll take pictures later, okay? Don't go away, uh, especially to the winners. I want to bring up our director of community, uh, uh, James McLeod, uh, who's based in London, to uh, about the next award. James, welcome. Thank you, Gab. So I'm probably one of the luckiest team members with Infinos because I get to work with a lot of our community directly in projects. Um, and over the last maybe 18 months, I've been working across um, the cloud service certification, which is transforming into different cloud initiatives with the CDMC now. Now, on the project calls, we've got, we've got maintainers from Deutsche Bank. We also have um, JP Morgan, who are actually really good at you know, putting opinions forward. But it's always really nice to have members of the open source community kind of step out and also be opinionated and you know, guide people and coach people, including myself. You know, we, we all need to be coached. And so this award um, goes to somebody who I've been working with over the last year. Um, he knows everything there is to know about how to test. This goes to Eddie Knight um, from City Hub. One more. We got 15 more to go, so we're good. No, just kidding. Um, 
For the next uh, award, uh, I want to bring up on stage a new, relatively new team member of, of Finos. Uh, she's our community manager. She's based here in New York. Uh, I want to welcome Julia Ritter to deliver the Outstanding Leadership Award. Thank you. Thank you very much. Here we go. Thanks, Gav. Hi, everyone. <laughs> First time being on stage, so <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this award is a special award. I'm so happy to present. I'm new to the community, and just working with you and seeing your d dedication and commitment is very awe-inspiring, so I want to thank you for this. And this award is the Outstanding Leadership Award, um, and we want to thank you, Stephen Goldbaum. <laughs> From Morgan Stanley. From Morgan Stanley. Yeah. Okay, second to last. Um, for this award, um, I want to bring in uh, another uh, relatively new team member of, of Finos. Um, Jane Gavronsky is our CTO. Jane, you've been a huge impact for our foundation. Please come up to deliver the Shining Star Award. And I'm very excited to be part of Finos. Today is my six month anniversary. Yeah. You, did, you forgot that. Yeah, man. But I didn't. I, I'm, I'm bad. <laughs> um, so we have the Shining Star Award um, for, um, for great contributions and, and a very popular contribution it has been. And we've heard many stories about it. And I myself have been talking about it quite a bit today and, and before because this is one of the contributions that's been widely used and delivered a lot of value. And so this award goes for the Shining Star Award for the Perspective Team at JP Morgan. And we don't have the team here today, so I believe Grizz is going to be accepting for the award. Yes. You get to hold on to it for five minutes. <laughs> okay. Please. Oh, which one? Rich, I, I will give this hand. Um, I've had the pleasure of working with some of the perspective team over the past couple of years and um, in different aspects and also interviewing them uh, with Tasha for a podcast and, and um, uh, right now, they, as far as their projects go, they have the most number of stars on uh, GitHub with over 3,000. Um, and, and again, they couldn't be here today. However, uh, they just released their 1.0 version of Perspective, which is a pretty huge accomplishment. Um, I don't know if you guys knew that. And, uh, and we, will, we will be talking more about that as they get to a more stable version. But um, I did want to put that out there, that uh, uh, that project is starting to grow in leaps and bounds. And uh, they're getting a lot of code contributed to there. So, um, so I thank you for them. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Jane. Thank you, Jane, and thank you, Grace. And Grace, Aaron. Uh, uh, on, on the records, uh, is our marketing manager and works very closely with our projects to promote and you know adoption and contribution. So thank you, and uh, I'm, I'm hopeful that you give the award to who needs to get it. <laughs> um, uh, and then last but not least, this is the last award, um, and it's uh, you know uh, you know I would say a very important one. Uh, uh, I would like to bring a very important member of our team. Uh, it's Aitana Mio. She is our manager for strategic initiatives. Welcome, Aitana. I can't do two things at the time. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm going to keep it very short and sweet because you're, you've heard a lot about this project uh, today and yesterday if you were here for the, for the member meeting. Uh, this award goes out to our most active individual, um, and it's really through through great contributors and through really active contributors uh, like this one uh, and, and many others <laughs> that we that we really build this uh, community and, and can see it grow and, and thrive. So we're um, 
incredibly thankful and I am delighted to uh, award this award <laughs> to Pierre de Belen from Goldman Sachs. <laughs> Thank you, Pierre, and, and again, thanks to the rest of the legend team. You guys have done an outstanding job this year. I, I keep telling them that I, I see their commits coming uh, in at every possible hour of the day, which um, it's great. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, moving on. Um, let me now skip quickly back to uh, just closing and the uh, reception information, which I'm sure you were all looking for. Um, before we move into the secret <laughs> reception information, I want to bring up, we actually have an on-site reception, which is supposed to start a couple of minutes ago, so we're running a little late. Uh, I'm uh, looking to see whether Dan Schleifer, the CEO of Cosaic, is here to give us a couple of... Dan, you're sneaking behind. Come here. This reception is sponsored from uh, Cosex, so thanks for being here, Dan. Yeah, I'm absolutely. Thanks for letting me hide off stage. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I haven't been back there long, I promise. Um, so uh, first off, Gab, thank you for, for hosting us and, and to the whole Finos team um, and, and kind of guiding us along our own journey as a company and, and for everybody else in the audience, both in participating in open standards and in uh, open sourcing technology. It's been fantastic. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for attending and uh, we will be hosting the cocktail reception outside. Uh, so please stop by for a drink, wine and beer, I believe, um, and say hello. And uh, yeah, on behalf of Cosaic and both Chart IQ and Finsemble, thank you guys. Thank you. Um, Cosaic, <laughs> Cosaic has been a great contributor and co-lead the uh, uh, FDC3 program. I'm sorry if this is the project. And so, finally, before I, I'm sure you're craving to leave. Um, but as I said, once the, this reception is finished, uh, you know, if you want a couple more drinks, uh, we are actually organizing a reception really close to here. Um, it's not in a basement. Uh, it is indeed on a rooftop. And for those of you who were here two years ago is the same uh, place, you know, in the, in the same note of coming back here for SSF, we're organizing the same uh, uh, rooftop drink after this. Um, this is going to start at 7 p.m. The reception here closes at 6.30. Um, it's at the Spyglass rooftop at the Archer Hotel. Take a picture. Um, there's limited space, uh, so it's going to be on a first come, first serve basis. Uh, we were a little bit limited by the, the uh, current state of the world. Um, please, we'd love to see you there. The reception is going to go on for three hours. Uh, so we're going to have some fun and hopefully continue bonding as a community. Uh, I want to thank you again for being here on behalf of the team and on behalf of our contributors. Thanks for making this possible. <laughs> <laughs>